welcome students to class 11th i hope you know my name my name is mrs seema singh and i'll be taking your physics classes we will start with a very interesting topic first as i've written here is of units and measurements and the topic here will be of significant figures now children this topic is very important in physics in chemistry in maths and all the practicals which you will be doing so the concept of significant figures have to be very clear to you first thing as i've written here that any measuring instrument can measure up to a certain limit i'm sure you must have measured the line the you must have used vernier caliper screw gauge and you see that when you are using a scale you can measure up till one digit of decimal for verniers you can measure till two digits of decimal and for screw gauge you can measure till three digits of decimal so every instrument is having a limitations right so now suppose the length of a side of a cube is 2.76 cm for example and it has been measured by a vernier calipers now here in this digit the last digit is known as the doubtful digit the reason being here this value can be from 2.75 to 2.77 cm in between any value can be so we are taking it as 2.76 because you are taking this value by a particular formula right now so here 6 becomes the doubtful digit this is known as your doubtful digit and this is the accurate digit secondly in the same way the length of side of cube if taken by a screw gauge will be 2.763 now till three digits of decimal as we are using it as a least count of the screw gauges 0.0001 cm right so here the doubtful digit becomes 3 and rest are the accurate digit so here we are saying that in a measurement of a quantity this was the quantity the length of the side of q in the measurement of a quantity the digits measure accurately and the first doubtful digit together are called significant digits or significant figures means in this value these two are accurate digits along with the doubtful digit so how many digits are there there are three digits so in this there are three significant digits and here we are having 2.76 as the accurate digits and 3 is the doubtful digit here all together there are four digits and here hence they are having four significant digits now the rules to determine the significant digits you have to pay attention to these rules they are very interesting but you have to concentrate right so the first rule all non zero digits are significant digits non zeros obviously 1 2 3 4 except for zero right and the decimal point does not affect the number of significant digit right this is the statement what i mean to say is if you are having any number suppose it is 32.75 right so how many significant digits we are having here 1 2 3 and 4 there's a decimal point point out here correct the same digit if i'm writing as 3.275 they are all non zero numbers and here the decimal the decimal the position of the decimal has changed but still how many significant figures 1 2 3 and 4 another way 327.5 again the position of decimal has changed but the total number of significant figures here is 4 so again i'll read it, read it out to you that all non zero digits here there are all non zero digits are significant digits and the decimal point does not affect the number of significant digits the second rule now these two three rules are very easy and then you have to really concentrate to understand the thing and i'm sure you'll be able to get it second all zeros between two non zero numbers are significant digits or significant number means if i'm writing two numbers suppose 10002 right this is a number zeros between two non zeros here the zeros will be taken as the significant digits so how many significant digits here 
1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If the 0 is in between two non-zero numbers, then that 0 will be considered to be a significant digits. I'm sure a lot of doubts must be coming in your mind, but let me finish with these rules and the things will be clear. You must be thinking if the 0 is towards the right or maybe towards the left, will it be taken as significant digits? Yes, I'll be telling you according to the rules. So the third rule here. Now listen very carefully. All zero to the right of a non-zero number. I'll give you an example. Having no decimal point are not significant numbers. But such zeros are significant if they arise due to a measurement. Means, I'll repeat again, I'll explain you with an example. If I write any number here, suppose 86400. Zero, zero. As the statement says, all zeros to the right of non-zero number. Here non-zero numbers are 864 and the zeros are at the right of non-zero number. Okay. And having no decimal point, there is no decimal out here. Correct. So in that case, these zeros will not be considered as significant digits. Okay. But if such zeros are significant, if they arise due to a measurement, means this was just any number written. If I write that maybe number of seconds in a day, that will be 24 into 60 into 60 seconds, that is 86400 seconds. You get my point. Here, this value is arising due to the measurement calculation, right? So here, the zero will be taken as significant digits. So what I want to say here is that here, the number of significant digits are three, but here the number of significant digits are five, right? I'll repeat this again. As the statement says, all zero to the right of non-zero number. We are having any arbitrary number here is 86400 zero, zero, without any unit is just a number written here. Correct. So here having no decimal, decimal point, there is no decimal point because again, when the decimal comes, the rule changes. There is no decimal point. So here to the right of non-zero number, this number is having three significant digits. Only these digits will be considered to be significant digits. But the same value I'm writing here so that there's no confusion. But if a number arises in a way that it is coming out of a measurement. This is a measurement. The number of seconds in a day is same. The values being the same. Here, what happens? The zeros are coming due to the calculation or the measurement, right? So here, zero will be taken into account as a significant digit. So this is having five significant digits and this is having three significant digits. Now, just there's a slight change here in the rule because we are introducing the decimal point. The question, the rule is, all zeros to the right of a non-zero but the left of decimal point are significant number please read it out the zeros all the zeros to the right of a non-zero but the left of a decimal point are significant numbers i'll write the same number so that you are not confused at all suppose this number i would have written as eight six four zero zero point zero zero Okay, so here, what is there? This zero, here the zeros were not taken. This is not also coming as a measurement. This is just a number. But here they are all zeros to the right of non-zero, but to the left of the decimal point. Yani ki, these two zeros will be taken as significant digits. These rules are very important. You need to be very thorough with this. So here the thing changes if the decimal point is introduced. What I'm saying? all zeros to the right of non-zero number but left of the decimal point so here these are not considered for this there's another rule i'll tell you so here the number of significant digits become five i'll repeat the entire thing again here i said all zeros to the right of a non-zero number having no decimal point having no decimal point and here the decimal is there so the rule is changing no decimal point are not significant numbers and hence we wrote, we wrote a number here 86400 and because the zeros were at the right side the number of significant digits here were three but if this value is coming out of some measurement right out of some calculation or measurement and this measurement is the measurement of seconds total seconds in a 
day. It is coming out to be 64, uh, 864 seconds and hence 0 is taken as a significant digit. So here we are having 5 significant digits. The other rule here I said all zeros to the right of non-zero but left of decimal point. Right of non-zeros and left of decimal are these two zeros. Yeah, the decimal is here okay so this will be considered as the significant digit now the fifth rule all zeros towards the right of a decimal point are significant digits all zeros towards the right of the decimal point here only zeros are towards the right of the decimal point and they are call your significant digits so in this one two three four significant digits right here also towards the right of the decimal we are having two zeros out here so this will be five six zero zero again four significant figures now this zero will not be considered why i'll tell you just later on here all initial zeros towards on the right of decimal and left of non-zero is not a significant zero is, is not a significant digit means all initial zero number starting with a zero this is what it is meaning towards the right of the decimal here right of the decimal right and left of a non-zero digit is not a significant digit so here this zero is towards the right of the decimal and left of the non-zero so this will not be considered as the significant digit so in all here we are having one two three significant digits here also one two three significant digits and here also one two three significant digits so in short what i want to tell you is that if a decimal or zero is defining the position of decimal right here the decimal is defined zero is defining the position of decimal then in that case zero is not considered to be a significant digit right if in case in this question in this rule if i would have written suppose two here correct in this case the number of significant digits would have been one two three four five six that is six why because these two zeros were between two non-zero numbers am i clear to you i hope i am if not please put your questions and I'll be answering them, right? So if they would, I would have put a digit here, then these zeros would have been counted as significant digits, right? Here, these zeros were not being used as to define the position of the decimal, but there is nothing here. And the rule says that initial zeros towards the right of a decimal and left of non-zero number will not be taken as significant digits. Hence, in all these three, we are having the number of significant digits as 3. And the last rule, position of a decimal does not affect the number of significant digits. There's a slight difference between this rule and the previous one. So please go through them. Position of a decimal does not affect the number of significant digits. Any measurement in one unit, that is maybe in centimeter, we have written as it as 3.62 centimeter. When you change it into millimeter, 36.2 millimeters, and you change it into meters, that is 0 0.0362 meters. So here in all these three values, the units are different, but the number of significant digits are the same. According to rule, this zero will not be taken as your significant digits. So all of them are having the same number of significant digits. So these are basic seven rules which you need to learn by heart right now so that you are very clear with your questions. Now, when you are getting questions for significant digits and uh, uh, we'll be having your rules for rounding of the digits, when they ask you to write it in significant digits, you should be very clear that you are applying the rules and writing the answers. Otherwise, if your answer is not correct, the entire question is wrong. Similarly, when you're doing your practicals, in your practical question papers also, you will be asked to write your answers in whatever number of significant digits the question paper is asking you to do so so if you are not clear with your with your concepts you are going to lose your marks so we are starting with class 11 and this is a very very important topic and a very easy one also once you will pay attention and concentrate and do the exercise you'll be able to do that very correctly right
Now, finally, measurement having maximum number of significant digits. Measurement having maximum number of significant digit is maximum accurate. In class 10 and 9th also we have told you that screw gauge gives a more accurate measurement than a vernier calipers. Reason being, we are measuring it up till 3 digits of decimals and we are measuring that up till, uh, in verniers we are measuring up till 2 digits of decimals. So maximum number of significant digits we are getting in a screw gauge and that is considered to be more accurate.